All right, I don't know how, well, this is gonna go. I don't know how the audio is either. I, well, I don't know how, to, okay, hold on. The game's a little loud, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, um, so this is Across the Obelisk. I can't remember if I made a video on this or not, but their new DLC just came out, and uh, I'm re I am really like Across the Obelisk, so <clears throat> yeah. And my team comp is it has no real bearing on any of that. Like, I, I usually try to have one of each, and I go with whatever my lowest rank is, so yeah. So it's not like I have a certain strategy with these people, um, and then, but instead of a warrior, I'm taking Yaga because he's a, basically a warrior. Um, I'm not going doing madness uh, due to it being a new DLC, so I want to try that base, you know. It all started on the princess's 16th birthday, when suddenly a burst of energy erupted from the princess's chamber and swept through the kingdom of Synenthia. Royal guards explored every corner of the castle, but found no sign of her or Lord Hanshek, the court magician. The king sent soldiers all over the kingdom, but none of them returned. The trail of the princess was lost deep in the old forest, near the ancient obelisk that had been dormant for centuries. Desperate, the king proclaimed a royal decree, announcing a reward for whoever brought the princess home safely. The news spread quickly throughout the kingdom. Many groups of adventurers prepared to investigate the obelisk. This is the story of one of those groups. Neat that uh, some of the quests you find are on that board. Uh, crap. Anything new here? I normally... <coughs> Sorry. It was a bit sick. Uh, normally... <coughs> normally... Jesus! Normally I go for, uh, whatever is, um... Any question marks? There don't seem to be any. I don't know when the the what act the other one takes place in. Uh, I don't know if doing this will affect it. We'll see. Um, no new town upgrades. Okay. Oh, I have seventy nine. Oh jeez. Okay, so what am I at? Nine seventy-five, sixty. I'll just do. I don't want to spend too much time here because. Uh... Well, I'm unlocking stuff. Reginald was my guy. Wait. Transform poison into thorns. Huh. Shuffle one deja vu into your deck. What? Wh wh wait. <laughs> I was like, wait, they're not telling me what it does. No, it's just it's just a loop. Wait. Shuffle one deja vu in your deck and deal X mental and or X yeah, X mind and X insane. X equals your vanish pile. Oh, and it vanishes. Oh that is so clever. <laughs> that is so clever. What the hell? Wait, shovel one deja vu in your deck and equal to place two deja vu on your di on your discard pile and then deal X. 
Ooh. Hmm. That is something, though. Like, that... Ooh, man. That's tempting, actually. Uh, he's fire. She's still... She's ranged. He's usually... Was he, he was either slashing or bleeding. But Grookty was also bleeding. Man, this this is something. I, I want that. I want to try it out, at least. Uh, X equals targets spark times half. Apply three spark. That's a lot of energy, though. E, ooh, ah, e, ooh, ooh, ah. Let's go back to the armory uh, real quick. Okay, so kind of want Yager to have taunt, but he's also not so tanky that he can afford negative defenses. Uh, let's go with um, do that for now. Wait, that takes his <laughs> well. <laughs> I'm I'm screwed that up. Oh man. Oh yeah, pets. That's what. Wait, I don't have... Oh, wait, I do. Why can't I... Excuse me? Um, oh, they're locked. Uh, uh, wait, that's new Finny. Okay, so... He was all about... Fury? Um, Sylvie has a pet. Fire. Um, Reginald. Ooh, okay, so it's between these two, because having a dispel would be nice. Uh, screw it, we're gonna do... every two turns okay so what we're going to do is we're going to actually do this so many times you I take mozzie for to take the bleeding away but some of their attacks want them to be bleeding okay so I'm done doing what I was doing here it took way too long uh, let's see I pretty much want to do this. Uh, 
kind of thing. I think I want to go. Yeah, let's go up. Uh, oh, I have six. I see it was your hand. Well, that uh, that would have been that would have been lovely. Does not matter. Oh. Well. Normally you want to go for the corrupted, but, uh. <laughs> Holy smite. Mmm. Well, heat wave. I've got to upgrade before I actually use it. Oh. Eh. Definitely. Da 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 in the farm, you can you come across a burned field and a burned house. In front of the house, there is a fire imp causing fires next to some burning cornies. Even half burned, the house may contain something valuable, but you'll have to deal with the fire imp and cornies first. You deal with the imp and investigate the house or ignore him. Take them head on. Hide in the cornfields and attack him by surprise. I'll try to snipe the imp from here. You this to me, I'll unsummon the M. Continue your way without attracting M's attention. Well, I mean. Snaps his fingers, making it disappear before the M can react. But Cornelius seems to have forgotten that there are still two cornies left. Luckily, they are a bit confused, and you can attack them and finish them off. Oh, that was a waste. Wow, you didn't give me any. Wow. Give me an attack. Thank you. Yeah, I can do that since it doesn't have a stanza requirement. Ooh, ew, ah, uh, mm, boom, and his a vanish, so. Uh, rush into the house and try to get the chest out, or you don't want to get burned, so you leave. 
85% chance. Group 4 or higher. Should be fairly... Are you kidding me? 85% chance, huh? The heat becomes unbearable and you have to leave the chest behind before the house collapses. Fortunately, you made this decision quickly. No one was hurt. Uh, okay. Okay, game. Sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. Sure. And I almost, uh, I, not almost, I always do these, no matter what. Um, each hero will be able to remove a card for free or access after. Neither of those are particularly... Neither of those are useful. Burning shot, A. Random monster, deal 12. Oh yeah, they all had a uh, uh, card now, specific to them. Deal 12 fire damage. Try equal to your burn. Easy peasy. Uh, yo. Boom. 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 Upgrade altar. I need to turn heat wave to blue. Yeah. Pretty sure that's all I can do. Yeah, that's all I can do. Hatch. You you come across a house in ruins, and inside you see a large hatch. You try to open the hatch, but it is properly closed. A few seconds later, a voice speaks to you through the hatch. Only those touched by the flames. Then the voice remains silent, as if waiting for a passphrase. What do you want to do? Don't know the passphrase, so you leave. Jumping on the hatch will break it. The problem will be land, trying to land on your feet. Oh, it's a single. Oh, yeah, single. Okay. Try to open the hatch in a safer way than jumping on it. And hmm, that sounds very familiar. Let me remember. Cornelius thinks for a while and says, "Only those touched by the flames can see beyond the burning hand." When he mutters under his breath to you what he thinks he remembers, that he then he mutters under his breath to you that he thinks he remembers that he was the one who invented this nonsense. The hatch opens. <sighs> 
silly gatekeepers, you're inside the hatch. Here you can see what at first glance seems to be a normal basement, but at the end of the room you can see a door with three pigmen keeping watch. They are new to this place and don't seem very excited about having to stand guard. In fact, one of them is lying down and almost asleep. The other two don't seem to be very smart either, but they could raise the alarm depending on how you approach. Clearly this is not a normal basement, you leave, nope, charge at them directly so they can't call reinforcements. Pretend, act as if you were one of them and go ahead. Ugh. I will show them the staff and order them to let us pass. Fortunately, one of them recognizes the staff. They bow to Cornelius and open the door for you. There's a hidden room here. I can't remember what to do about it. So I'm going to go this way. Oh, hey. Party will gain access to a rare equipment shop. Lovely. Won't have the gold for it, but all right. The obelisk true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All damage plus one. Bomb lottery. I don't remember this one. All damage plus one. Every round, shuffle a bomb into a random hero's deck. That go into Reginald. Shot. Let's see here. Ooh. Whoa, yeah. He's he's going soon. Oh dear. God, I was hoping you wouldn't hit him. Oh, okay, well that works out then. Wait, no, that's gonna... Oh, no! I think I have bleed for him to... It does that at the end of the turn. Instead, I can't remember... Wait. It's... No, 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 no. Combat logs? No, 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 no. It's someone. No. Where is it? Where is it? You, um, Yager. Perks. Bleed. Charges that you apply. Oh, I, you get. Okay, yeah. It cannot be prevented by buffer or immunity to bleed. So yeah, it's worth it then. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Yeah. All heroes. Oh, yeah, you. Wait. This is considered a fire spell. Huh. But it applies water. Yeah, no. Pick one card from your discard pile and place it on top of your deck. And this one, you. This is Jesus. Let's 
Some sort of buff, I guess. Uh, it was probably wasted, though. Um, let's see. Scry. She would like Scry. But he would like Vitality. Ooh, yes. Yeah, I'll do this one. The Imp Altar. At the end of the hall, you find a large stone statue of an imp. Although the placement of the statue is suspicious, it's clear that it is used as an altar of some kind. You found imps before wandering around freely, and this statue may have something to do with it. What do you want to do? Do not want to touch this altar and be surrounded by imps by accident. Carefully, you inspect the statue to find something unusual. Uh, smash the statue so that it can no longer be used. I know how to best use these imp altars. Cornelius chants something nearly inaudible and casts a fire spell on the altar. Surprisingly, the altar shines and the secret door opens behind it. Also, you can now use this altar to upgrade one card for free. I don't remember being able to do that, but alright. Uh, who has the, uh, the most expensive card to upgrade that hasn't been upgraded? Blue, 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 blue. That one, okay, it goes up to purple, so... Uh, you don't go over to purple. So this, this is the one I was unsure about. <sighs> because deal, deal damage and suffer damage equal to your burn. Deal burn and apply burn equal to or suffer burn equal to your burn. Which again would be amazing if that trait would uh you know allow him to have burn on. An ephemeral potion. The secret door takes you to a room with a large chest. You open the chest and find some items that might be useful. Among them, a bright orange potion catches your eye. As soon as you take the potion out of the chest, its contents begin to disappear. You don't know if it is drinkable, but there is no time, and you can only drink it before you can. Only one can drink it before it completely vanishes. I will drink it. I will drink it. I will drink it. I will drink it. Now, I can't remember if it gives Bless. If it gives Bless, I'd go original. But, I can't remember, honestly. It doesn't show what the reward will be. 15 hidden options. I'm assuming, you know, one for each character or something. Yeah. Because there are... 19 characters and all and yep so that's it uh let's see i think this is an on draw so yeah let's go with original and see oh well you know very good thing i did not or cornelius didn't get it since it dispels burn, so that's good. Draw one card, dispel burning. Oh, and it's, oh yeah, and it's vanish. Ooh, so yeah, it was a good idea. Gain one energy and two buffer, insulate, not buffer, yeah. I didn't read the thing, dang it. Uh, let's see. Oh, rewards. Um, he needs a weapon. There is a weapon, but that's not that's not going to do anything. All right. Looks like I got to turn down the mic a bit because the dogs are barking again.
Okay, so... He's the only one that needs a chess piece, so let's see. Ooh. Ring. Uh... I guess I'm gonna do this and this. You just wanna get and we'll just deal with that. The summoning ritual! You reach the end of the basement, and here you can see many cultists in the summoning circle. The summoning has begun, and from the number of cultists, it does not seem like just a normal imp will show up. They become aware of your presence near the ritual, and some cultists leave the circle to confront you. The cultist looks at you suspiciously, waiting for an answer. Hello. 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 Yeah, dog barking in the background, having to fix the audio. Uh Okay. Uh, you respond by drawing your weapons and striking first. Tell them you are new here and you've come to help with the ritual. You fools, you don't know what you're doing. Stop this at once. The nearby cultist recognizes Cornelius immediately. They bow down and leave, but it's too late. The ritual is about to end. Lord of the Imps. The ritual ended, the room filled with red smoke, and the temperature rose rapidly. I don't know if it went well or not, but all the remaining cultists start to flee in panic after realizing what they've done. An impressive imp appears before you. It's the greater demon, Belfior, the Lord of the Imps. Belfior. What do you want from me, mortal? Although he's been weakened by the precarious summoning conditions, you can't underestimate him. Oh, we were just passing the recurring cultists. Can we leave? He is weakened. Now is a good chance to feed him forever. Attack him. Persuade. Oh, great Belfior. Maybe there is something we can do for you? Hello, old friend. We meet again. I see you're still alive, and you dare to call me old friend? Last time you summoned me into the depths of that damn forge, and then abandoned me to my fate. You owe me one, and now's the perfect time to repay me. Your former followers are using my imps as mere tools. They've had enough, and now they're out for revenge. Take this scroll and use it in a place full of cultists. Do this for me, and we'll be even. Plus, I'll reward you generously. Add a copy of Pillage. Gain one. Powerful. For the next two attacks, gain one powerful. Put Rob into your hand. Reduce the cost of the highest cost attack again by one. Huh. Always went Sausage Factory because of uh, how good it was. The next two skills put to Blood sausage into your hand. Reduce the cost of the highest cost skill in your hand by one. Draw one card. Heal health equal to your bleeding. Dispel bleeding. Grant two and three regeneration.
That just goes so well with the rest of his kit. I remember. He's all about having high health and bleed and all that. Plus, that's way too... If you could, if it had some sort of retaining thing to where it stays in your hand at the end of the turn, that'd be one thing. But you have to use it the turn you draw it. They may not have good buffs. And you, if you used it and you attacked, it would proc, right? That just seems way more useful. Oh yeah, when an enemy dies, shuffle one of these cards, premium meat, meat, or spoiled meat, in a Yager's deck. So that's what that was. Alright. Sight on enemies also reduces their piercing resistance. Yep. Add a copy of target shooting. I think that's what I normally go did. Because, you know, it's a debuff that you place on something, and those are quite rare. The next two range attacks for every energy you use, draw one card, gain one sharpening, and one... Okay, so... I mean... I should probably go this one. Ooh. Yeah. Cornelius, add a copy of Hellflame to your deck. Fireproof. Resistance goes up by 33%. Damage if you're damaged by others. Uh, apply three burn. I'm assuming to someone else. Charge it, burn charges plus three. I think this is what I normally go for. Next three spells deal eight damage and apply three burn to the highest. Yeah. Where's the one that was? Oh, they get rid of it. Good. I don't know which one they add they got they replaced it with. Probably World in Flames. Good. Good. That makes that makes him a lot more usable now. Because one of them you just would never take because he he wants to have burn on him. I'm assuming that's what this helps with, because it, you know, it helps with the burn damage. Phoenix, though, so, well, that's only for. Well, it lasts until you die, so Phoenix allows you to actually use any damage spell. Cause that was one thing that was uh, a bit off with Cornelius compared to the other mages. Because the other mages weren't locked to an, a certain element, whereas all of his stuff is fire. So he he was he was a bit more useless than the others. He's stronger at fire, but that's pretty much all he does. This allows him to do to use other spells at least. He's still locked to fire, but you know. So what do I want to do here? I mean, I like the plus three charges, but it only lasts for three spells, right? So... I think I gotta go with that. I don't think I've ever done it before. 
I can only assume. Oh, that would apply actually six, I guess, because you would get plus three charges. I can only assume this got nerfed because I remember always going for this and no, like it, it wasn't even close. So I'm assuming this got pretty nerfed. Uh, whoa, wait a minute. I don't remember that one. Maybe. We going with blessed though. So, uh... Continue. And we go wait a minute, I can I can go broken altar. Yeah, I believe this will give me if I can complete this quest that one imp I don't have. I think I had this quest before, but I don't think I finished it. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go down this way. The Broken Altar. Hidden options. The rubble of an ancient altar. Those altars are used to make offerings with magic shards to improve your skills. The altar appears to have been destroyed on purpose, and perhaps those who did so are still nearby. This altar is barely usable, and in order for the offering to work, you will have to offer an additional amount of shards. Using this altar under certain con under current conditions will cost you a little more. Uh, try to fix altar a bit before using it. Do not make an offering, but try to restore the altar to its former state. Boom! 54%. Go for it. Oh, critical success. My god. Oh, that was an achievement. Ma 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 custodian. Oh my god, yeah, new another vanish. You have made a masterpiece. The altar shines like never before and gives you the opportunity to upgrade two free cards for each hero. You also feel great knowing that the altar is completely restored. My god. For each hero, two free my Goodness, he only has two. Ooh, burn! Yes. I want banish. Uh, you now. You have one. You have three. You have a lot. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Now you, my god. These all go to green, this goes to green, this goes to green. Okay, the last sentinel, 
You arrive at a crumbling watchtower. This tower was the first point of defense in the wolf wars against the wild werewolves of the forest. When you enter the tower, your eyes catch a dim light that filters under the rubble. It is Golem. They were the best defenders Synanthia has ever known, but they were dismantled after the war and it was thought that, they were no more, that there were no more left. The power supply seems to be damaged. Maybe if you can find a replacement for the core, you can repair it. It's up to you to repair it. Take measurements of the core. You will search for a replacement. You hide the golem and keep it more protected so it doesn't take more damage. It is said that originally these golems were created in the Velkarath Mountains inside the Black Forge. Maybe you can find a replacement for the core there. When you were hiding the golem, you found some magic shards. Story time. In the forest, you found a large open space that seems like the perfect place to rest a bit before continuing your journey. As you go to set up camp, you notice a group of werewolves camping. They see you and offer to share the camp. One of them also says to you, Hey, do you want to share some stories from your travels while, with us while we, while we rest? Do you want to share their camp and tell them a story? You don't want to waste time with strangers in the middle of the forest. Vaguely tell them you want to reach the obelisk. Oh, marvelous. Willing ears for my stories. Let me take a seat. How are you guys doing? Any news to report? When the werewolves see Yager in the group, they immediately make a place for him in the camp and share their food with him. They Then they tell him that they discovered that the dryads have a big stash in Forest Deeps, where they keep all the objects of the dead adventurers that are lost in the forest. Before leaving, they give you some gold that they have stolen from some peasants who are crossing the forest. Alright, there's Forest Deeps. Oh man, oh my, my, my. I can't remember if you keep any. I don't think you keep anything that you get here because you get a new party. Is the thing like you get a you get old you get old you get young Yager young what is the other werewolf and I think young original no I don't know. Can't remember. Either way, you get a new new set of cards and everything, and you just go through a small map. And at the end, I don't I don't know what you get for doing the end outside of uh, unlocking the characters. I can't remember what else you get, if anything. Huh. Also, I don't know if I've done everything in there. I think I have. Ooh. Yeah, we just want to go this way. The werewolf stall. You come in, you come to a large stone arch in the middle of the forest, and at one side of the arch, you see a stall run by a werewolf. When you approach, he says, Hey, hey, finally some customers. Come close and look at my wares. Half of these items come from the bandits. I'm sure there's something interesting you might need. Oh, by the way, I didn't kill that boy over there. He was already dead this morning when I came to set up the stall. Maybe a good time to do some shopping. Look at his wares before you leave. Try to get a discount by pointing out the dead boy next to his stall. Accuse him of killing the boy. You want a big discount of things, or things will get ugly for him. You don't expect me to pay for my own stuff, do you? When the merchant sees Jogger, he becomes quite frightened, but he gradually pulls himself together and argues that not all of his merchandise is from the bandit camp. Besides, he paid them for it. Even so, and clearly, clearly still quite frightened, he offers you a 50% discount. You accept the discount of his merchandise. Oh my god. 
Uh, crap. Who all needs a weapon? Okay. Wait, how much gold? Ooh. Wait, what the what the heck is this? When you play a skill, one time per turn. When you play a skill, put three useless letters into your hand. What? <laughs> huh? Useless letter. Suffer one bleed. Huh? What's the purpose of this? <laughs> what is the point of this? Once per turn, when you play a skill... What? Don't get me wrong. This would be amazing on Reginald with that, uh... God. Also, I keep forgetting that you can get corrupted versions by getting two of the same thing. At the end of combat, all heroes recover five health. God! I so... Ooh! <laughs> that would be so amazing, man. Deja vu. God. It would take... What is every turn? But it's also skill, and I don't think original has that many skills, actually. God, I could see that working so well, though. You getting this? So you can get the butcher's knife. Uh, no ring. Damn. I am so tempted. That that baffles me though. What is the what 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 is the point of this though? Unless there is a like a quest that w wants you to use, huh? You know what? Ooh, I am so tempted. Screw it. <laughs> Curiosity is going to kill me this uh, run. Alright, so hopefully after this battle, it will be like, this is the place where uh, they mentioned or something. Okay, so I'm assuming... I thought none of these could be bled. I'm assuming his bleed thing goes for everybody. But I thought it would still say up at the top left that they're immune. Um, what do I want to do here? Boom. Shit. Well, well, well. Draw one card. Equal to target point. Wait, what? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Healing, dispelling. Just do you. 
That's the only one, really. Sucks. Okay. That could have that would have gone well with uh with the X the other one. I'm no longer getting healed after each one. Dude. I love giving me the mental for this guy. Reveal. Reveal. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, boom. And... Dreads Cache, you are in the deepest parts of the Zenithia Forest, and after clearing, clearing the path of Trunkies and Dryads, you are exactly where the adventurers told you. Yep. There it is, the secret cache of the Dryads. The story was true. Seems that the Dryads used the bodies of the lost adventurers as fertilizer and kept all their belongings in one place. Look for any items that can be useful. In addition to some items that are still in good condition, you, can, you also find some gold. Oh, hey, what? Ball of wool. First turn, apply one slow to a random monster. Oh, well, uh, that. Uh, ring. Combat start getting too fast. Ooh, who do I want that on out of these two? Uh, armor, you're not going to get a better armor. Yeah. This is looking kind of meh. Wait, I could have... Damn, I could have corrupted. I keep forgetting about that. No! Okay, so it's Yager and him. Okay. So you are getting that, and you are getting yeah. Ilmer's awakening. The obelisk is in sight, but something very dangerous is blocking the way. Ilmer, an old yeah, I'm assuming it's pronounced Ilmer. Ilmer, an old Trent, once known as the protector of the Snentia Forest, has awakened and been tainted by the energy emanating from the now active obelisk. Besides Ilmer, there is a Trunky and a Dryad protecting him. You can't see any way to avoid the confrontation, but maybe you can make the fight easier or worse depending on how you approach him. This challenge will be difficult, so what will you do? Try to rest behind the tree before attacking. It's risky, but try to hide in the forest to start the fight with stealth. I'm surprised the six or higher is uh, lower than. Gauge him quickly against my part. Should have cut 
down this tree a long time ago. Now no one will stop me. These percentages are not high enough for me to risk anything on. I think he gives you like a buff or something to start the fight. Yager draws his weapon and charges at the old Trent with a loud war howl. The rest of you are motivated by the howl and follow him into battle. Yeah, no longer says he's immune to bleed. So I guess that... Uh, let's see. Pack monster. I only have to worry about him. Can I one turn him? Oh. Hmm. What do you got? All right, I'd uh, step away and uh, help with something, so I have to. What, what, what was I doing? Uh, okay, it's his turn. Five. Oh, I use this. Uh, wait, isn't this the same? Discover three cards. Wait a minute. Is it, uh... Aren't these the same three that I got last time? Is there a reason for that? I don't have any armor. So I'll have to go with that. What? Yeah, just... Are selected at random. Wait a minute, related cards. So is it guaranteed to be these three? If I knew that, I would not definitely would not have. Uh, like I may actually get rid of it because I will never. There may be some very rare chances for me to use this just to. I don't know. He's not a block type of ch uh, character, so. Ooh, that's yeah, rough. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't like that. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? Okay, so. I don't feel like I need to do this since they're slower anyway. God, uh, why couldn't you hit, hit Ilmer? Front. Yay. Yay. The deck. Well, I'll still get excellent, but it's not going to be a first turn kill. Unless. So. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I really 
don't know what that is for outside of maybe cards that cards yeah they still go in my vanish okay so vanishing and cards that affect how many things are in your hand wow I I, I didn't get anything really Okay, well... Hmm. Well, he's definitely dead this turn. Yay! It gets a lot harder as you go through the axe, by the way. <laughs> uh, pulsing heal. Like each act is quite a bit more difficult than the one before it. The last one gets ridiculous. And tomb is new. Apply 12 dark and discard a card. It's vanished though. I don't do dark. X equals discarded times six. Oh, what? Uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> wait anyone why would you want to wait why would you want to apply dark to yourself hmm I, I can't remember either of the dark casters want necessarily wanting dark on themselves I definitely want Entomb for that, um, for that time six. That sounds really nice. This would be good, too. But I'm curious, and like I said, and I'm going to stick by it. Curiosity is going to, uh, kill me this run. Shieldbreaker. Yeah... That does sound like that'd be really useful. Yeah. Got to do that one. And this one. Inside. Oh, wait. Ilmer will never wake you up again. A shame that a once tall and wise Trent like him. Head to end this way because of the mysterious reactivation of the obelisk. Between Yomo's roots, you see a large golden chest appear. You're at one step closer to your objective. You open the chest. Inside the chest, you find some gold shards. Gold and shards, but also a good amount of magic items that have been long forgotten hidden between Yomo's roots. Okay. There are no duplicates, so... No rings. I'm surprised this is not a ring. 
or accessory. You play a defense. Crap. None of these are amazing for me. Yeah! The Sinentia Obelisk. You find yourself in front of the obelisk. After centuries of inactivity, it's now bursting with energy, and the runes engraved in the stone glow brightly. As you read the runes aloud, the wall of the obelisk warps and distorts, creating several portals. The time has come to cross the obelisk. Where will you go? Yeah, they want me to go there. Oh. Yellow portal. That? Ooh. The green portal from which a smell of stagnant water comes out. Cross the blue portal from which an icy draft comes out. Cross the yellow portal from which dry and dusty air comes out. So here's the problem. I'm going to need to go through red for these quests. And I need to do that as soon as possible because Cornelius is going to be absolutely useless there and it is best for him to be useless when it is easier than to go on with it being harder so i think i'm going to go red first and then go to yellow hopefully yellow will be available to me then so i'm going to go red first out of out of safety <laughs> so I'm trying to think. I don't even think I can do both of these. I think I because I remember Belfiore's being at the bottom of the map and then his being closer to the top. Unless I'm misremembering, which is possible. Because they redid his quest line. Because now there's a whole short map for his. But you cross the portal and before you realize it, you are already in another place. 